Uh, so my name is James Ketchum. I am with the soundboard team at Edge Theory. Uh, today is going to be session four of our new social media training series that we put together. Uh, today is going to be all about getting found and using um, Facebook in a way that we hadn't really thought about before in order to uh, get the word out there about something that you are doing. So um, pardon the fact that I don't have any slides put together. I came on an impromptu beach trip with my family and I decided to go to the beach for an hour with my kids instead of making slideshow. So I figure we can just talk through all of this together. Okay. Uh, so, you know, over the past couple sessions, we've talked about going live um, with your Facebook page. We've talked about branding yourself. Uh, and so what I, what I want to do uh, today is bring it all a little bit together and talk about, for those of you that have Facebook business pages, the best way to leverage your business page uh, in today's ever-changing uh, Facebook algorithm. Because if you've been part of any of our trainings in the past, uh, you know that the Facebook business page a few years ago was an incredible way uh, to get found and to promote your business. And Facebook realized that, and then they figured out, well, they weren't making any money from that process, and so they figured out how to monetize it, and they made it a lot more difficult for business pages to get found organically, okay? In the same breath, they have made their platform an incredible uh, way to connect with people in a particular geography or a particular interest group um, to make it more easy to get your content in front of them. You just have to pay up a little bit to do that. So what we're looking at here is the user view or the, the fan view of the Healthy Living Soundboard uh, Facebook page um, that Carrie and I run to keep information about the soundboard going. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to the business manager side of things. Uh, so if you have a business page, you know, you usually access it up here with this drop down, and, and it'll, it'll show your pages. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and access it through my business manager. You may or may not get this particular page, but this is how we run everything. Um, but once you're logged onto your business page as, as the admin, you know, you get a little bit of a different view of things. I mean, all the stuff is still there, but here's your, now your capacity to create all of the different types of posts. And then just, let's just scroll down a little bit and, and rem remind everybody about, you know, the changing nature of, of the way this, of uh, the way these business pages work. So right now, this page has 5,252 likes. So that means ideally that if we made a post, five, over 5,000 people will see it. But Facebook says, nope, nope, nope. You have to pay to be seen by that many people. So typically, your business page organic reach is about 1% to 2% of your existing like audience. So you can see, and this is a brand new post. It's only been up nine minutes, so this will get bigger. But it's probably not going to exceed 200 or so. Um, here's another organic post that's been up for a couple of hours, okay? It probably is not going to get a ton more reach than this. So remember, we're looking at about 1% um, or less of our uh, audience page here, of, of the quantity of likes. Now, here's how to, to get the most of this, because I want to encourage you that, you know, Facebook does what it advertises if you uh, pay to get found, all right? So what I wanna talk about is setting up an event that either you are going to be speaking or you are at an event where other people are speaking, but you create an event on your platform, on your social media business page, sorry, on your Facebook business page, you create the event just like the event that you are attending right now is listed on our business page as an upcoming event. And then when the event is going to happen, you make the event 
going live on Facebook, okay? Sorry, y'all, I'm outside at the beach. Got a little road noise here. You can't make me sit inside when I'm at the beach. Roll on with yourself, sir. All right, so we're trying to bring it all together. So last week, you know, we even talked about creating graphics. So here's a beautiful graphic that Carrie created for our uh, event that we're in the middle of. Now, if this were to be your event, at the time of the event, all you have to do is come back up here to the top here and start a live video. Now, I'm not gonna really click this because if I were to zoom and start a live Facebook video at the same time, it gets a weird feedback loop, so I'm not gonna do that. But I want you to think about this from a perspective of it's really great to go live on Facebook unannounced if you just wanna share something. We've talked about that, I think, the first week. But if you want to really get some traction in there, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a mock event that you can invite people to, and I'm gonna walk you through the process, okay? So where we're gonna start is we're gonna create an event, and our particular event is going to be a Facebook Live event, and it's gonna feature two things. One is it's gonna feature us talking about um, the tower garden. And then the second part of it is going to be using our Facebook live to video to show off a, an area that uses the tower garden. Okay. Um, I have in mind, uh, I think it's O'Hare airport has this huge tower garden installation and all of the restaurants in the airport get their greens from the tower garden farm that's in the airport. Okay. Now, what I've done here is to create a new event, so you can uh, change the default image. So if you've made your graphic, you know, like we showed you how to do last time on Canva or on um, Spark, you, you can put that here. You'll notice, I'll close this real quick. The graphic that Carrie created for today's event is very simple, some eye-catching um, images. You can tell right off what it's about, and then in one sentence, What's going on? When is it? All of the crazy details, the Zoom ID, if you need more information, you can put that in the notes, but don't put all that on the graphic, all right? So after we create this event, so we're gonna call this our Tower Garden Tour. Now, if you um, want to put you know, where it's gonna be, then you can put that here. Uh, if it were to be a combination of an event where you want to invite real people to show up and uh, you want to live stream it, you can put that here. If it's just a Facebook Live thing, like if you're somewhere like at an airport and you see the, you know, that you know you're going to O'Hare, let's say it like that. Let's say we know we're going to have a two hour layover in O'Hare next week and we know that this tower garden uh, installations there. We know we want to talk about it. It's a terrific thing to capitalize on. We're going to start talking about it now. We are obviously not inviting anyone to the airport terminal. So if the location is just going to be Facebook Live. All right, so we'll leave it like that. We do not want the FB Live Church in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, although that could turn out really interesting. When is it going to be? So uh, it's going to be a week from now. And we're going to run it for, let's be generous and say 30 minutes, even if we don't stay on that long. Now, what do we want to know? What do we want people to know about the event? Um, well, this is probably going to fit in. Let's call this a food related post. Um, and let's say, check out the, let's say it like this check out how easy it is to grow your own food indoors because we know we're going to be talking about this installation and showing it off if you would like to pick some keywords you can look for things that might fit all right you can start talking uh start typing and see what comes up now i was going to do urban gardening or urban farming that did not come up let's see if aeroponics that also does not come up so you may want to make up some keywords or you may want to rely on what's already there you can decide um, you can check this off if you're not going to swear. And then you can pretty much leave the rest of this blank. 
um, if you want to. You don't, you know, obviously you don't need anybody to buy a ticket to come to your event. This is, can anyone post? Um, and I recommend leaving it like this because if you're on an extended Facebook Live uh, video, then it's wonderful to have people post as you're doing it and commenting on those posts. Okay, so when we're ready for this, we want to publish it. Don't worry, Carrie, I'll take this down later. So here is our event, okay, our Tower Garden Tour. If we had taken the time to make a graphic, uh, we've got, you know, that here. And here's the details. People can, this, the event itself turns into a thread. Uh, so people can post on the thread. People can post articles to this. Um, you can, you know, invite friends specifically uh, to watch your, your Facebook Live event, which is a good first step. But then what you want to do is, this is the part that I really want to help you unpack, is this boosting. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You could spend 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Uh, but this is the kind of thing that you can get so specific with this that you can, and I'll show you how, but you can include certain parameters so that people are interested. And you can also exclude certain parameters so that you're not paying to get in front of people who already know about you. For instance, your team. Um, they already know about the Tower Garden. Why not think bigger than that and say, well, yes, it would be nice if your team was, was there. And you can invite them for free. But keep in mind, whose eyeballs are we paying to get in front of? You don't need to pay to get in front of your friends or your team, okay? So we're going to hit boost event here. All right, and so here's what it's gonna show us. Over on this side, it's gonna show us how the post looks. Here's what it looks like on desktop. Here's what it looks like on mobile. Here's our text. Again, I would uh, recommend be, being a little more specific. For the sake of time, you get, you get what I'm saying. Now, your audience is where I really want you to unpack this. So we have a number of audiences built in uh, to our pages that we've been working on. But what I want to show you is I want to create a new audience here uh, for this particular post, okay? And we're going to call this, let's just call this our Tower Garden audience. So here's where we can really begin to get specific. I would love for all uh, genders and ages to be invited. We're, we're not going to be exclusive with that on this particular thing. Now, where would you like for this to be uh, posted to? So keep in mind, again, if you're trying to boost a salad in a jar party that's at your house, then you don't want to boost it across the country. You want to be very specific and put your town in here only, and that's the only place you want to see it. If it's a Facebook Live event, you want to, why not invite the whole world? Okay, but now we can really get into this. Now let's get into our detailed targeting. So I'm going to leave this set basically for the entire world that uses um, Facebook and has Juice Plus as a product. And you may, you might think of, no. should we add Dubai? Yes, I just got this cool email from Stephen Ritz about the new school that he is helping to launch in Dubai all around the Tower Garden. The whole school and curriculum is built around the Tower Garden. It's remarkable. Okay, so now let's get very specific with this. So here's where we can begin to add demographics, interests, or behaviors. Now notice, our audience selection is quite broad because basically we're targeting the known universe. Over 3 million, 300 million people. Too much. Now let's do this. Let's start typing in these keywords that we've been thinking about. Aeroponics. All right, y'all, sorry, my internet is running slow. Again, because I'm at the beach. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it like this. Apologies. That didn't work this time. All right, let's try this one. Hydroponics. All right, so hydroponics is a an interest group in Facebook. 
So we click on hydroponics and look what happens to our audience size. It dr shrinks dramatically. Let's, let's see if we can find anything around urban gardening. Urban garden is a topic built into Facebook. Urban gardening. Okay, so you get the idea here. You can see this, this topic has an interest of 33,000 people. This topic has an interest of over 4 million people. So you see what we're doing here is we are, and now Facebook is telling us our audience selection is great. We're inviting everybody around the world who is interested in this topic to watch us on Facebook Live talk about this particular topic. This is incredibly powerful. Um, let's look up farm managers. Look at this, farm manager. What farm manager doesn't need to know about the tower garden? You can keep going on and on and on with this and get very specific, okay? But Facebook right now is telling me my audience selection is great. It's broad enough to get in front of a wide variety of people and it's not so narrow that uh, we're going to wear people out. Now let's exclude some people because again, we don't need to pay to get in front of people. Watch this. Who do we want to exclude? I do not want to pay to get in front of Juice Plus people. That is an interest in Facebook that's, that's dem a targeted demographic. Guess who knows about Tower Garden? That's right, Juice Plus. They've got it several different ways. I don't want to pay to get in front of these people. So my post now won't show up in front of them. So when we save this audience, we've now done a really incredible thing here of excluding a certain audience, including a specific audience, and again, inviting people from around the world to watch our video. Now when we hit save, this is where you can just decide how much money do you want to spend. This will tell you how many people it will get you in front of. All right, let's set this to 10 bucks and see what happens. That's still pretty dang good. That's more people that I could talk to in a week about the tower garden. So you're gonna get in front of 6,200 people. They're gonna get this nice, beautiful post, inviting them to just watch a Facebook Live video. And then they can click interested, and then you've got a bead on what, how many people are gonna come. What is going to come out of that? Who knows? Um, I'm going to cancel this because I'm not really going to spend this money on this fake event. But I hope you get the point and how incredibly powerful Facebook business platform can be if you're willing to spend that little bit of money. Um, and then what you will what you will find is after. Um, people uh, get in, get this event put in front of them. Wrong thing. They will start to uh, check off interested or going, and then they will start to share this uh, event with their, with their team or with their friends or, you know, with their interest groups. Um, and you can, you know, as people say they're interested, you get a list of names and you can start tagging them in posts um, and start conversation threads with those folks directly. Um, and that's, that's another super powerful thing. Even if they don't end up watching the video, you've made, made a connection uh, with somebody who's interested. Okay, a lot of information. Carrie, do you have any thoughts? Or did I miss anything? Um, no, James, I think that was really uh, quite thorough. Oh, you know what? The one thing I will say, and, and you can kind of uh, drive as I talk through it, uh -huh. but right there, um, you did not actually post this event, or you did? I did, exa I did actually post the event. I did not actually create a boost for the event. Oh, okay. So right here, um, right on, on those little buttons, right next to share, you can choose to add this to your business page. So um, something I like to do day of events or right before an event is a quick reminder just so it goes back through the newsfeed. So anybody that has, whether you're targeting them via ads or whether they have just demonstrated interest, 
it will then go back through the feed um, like a normal post would. Okay. Yeah. Did you already see that? So I like to do that one little like extra step as well, um, just as a reminder. And then another thing you can do on that note is something that I saw Carrie did earlier with a different post is, you know, day of or two days before, you can pin certain posts to the top of your feed. So even as you create new posts, uh, this one won't get pushed down. So you can see this one's got a thumbtack in it. And so this one's going to hang out at the top of our feed for as long as it stays pinned. So that's another great way to, if people visit your page, it's the first thing they see. Okay. Um, Anybody have any questions from the field or Carrie, you have any other thoughts? I'm like kind of relaxed listening to the waves <laughs> behind you. <laughs> well, we're, we're a couple blocks from the, from the water actually. So anything you're hearing is water, uh, wind or road noise. I hate to burst your bubble. Um, we were also at the beach today and it was so calm. It was like a lake. There was no waves. So even if I, was I do want to uh, really quick address Tom's question um, and, and James back me up on this. Um, if you're, I think if you're creating an event um, to show a video, um, why not? Like if it's like yeah. a training video um, or something like this, but that is where um, it's really great to, to create one of those graphics. Mm -hmm. uh, simply because that's a better way to tell your story and kind of entice people on on the why of the video um, yeah. and why you want them to lock down that event. Yeah. Yep. An event can be absolutely anything that you want it to be. Um, I keep coming back to making it a Facebook Live event because the video content works so well, but if it's pre-recorded, that's no big deal at all. Oh, show. Did okay. we answer your question, Tom? Looks like it. I guess so. All right, friends. Well, this will this wraps up our newest social media training series. Uh, again, this will be on uh, our Facebook page and YouTube and our Voxer thread within the next hour or two. Pause really quick, James, one more question. Yeah, um, so Facebook Live is an actual video of you talking or filming something else occurring and it's happening in real time. Show him on our page, an example. On videos, those are all our Facebook Live. I don't mean to. Yeah. Get so I do Facebook live videos sometimes, Tom, to talk about, you know, social media, like changes and things like that. So we're not actually doing a Facebook live right now. We're, this is a Zoom call and we're not broadcasting this outside of the people who have showed up on the Zoom. Facebook live videos are different because once you start them, and if you come, you know, we'll, we'll be doing this all day long at conference interviewing people. But once you hit go, you're literally broadcasting to Facebook um, right then. There's no coming back and editing. There's no making changes. And so people who are on Facebook get a notification that you're live and they can watch it right then. They can comment on it as it's happening. They can put likes and emoticons and stuff on it. And then once you save it, Thank you, Carrie. It's not pulling up on my computer. But once you, sorry, I, I said the wrong word, not save. Once you complete it, once you finish um, recording, then you hit stop and it will post it. If you choose to, it will post it and make a post out of the video, which people can watch in later, like a YouTube video. If you choose not to post it, then only people who saw it occurring saw it and then it's gone. So, Yes, you might screw up, but how many times have you seen me do a training video and screw up? All of them. I mean, Tom, I'm at the beach right now, and I'm drinking a beer, man. It's cool. So just let it ride, you know. Let it ride. Sorry, that was, that was a little beside the point, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Okay.
we'll go forth, do good, grow your business. We'll see you in Indy. Um, if you are, uh, you know, team leader and would like to um, bring your team by the booth and come say hi and nobody, and you have people who haven't signed up yet, we might have some swag at the booth for new signups. Might have a few contests going on, you never know. So we'd love to see you there. Parting thoughts from Carrie Reed. Parting thoughts, all smiles. Um, look forward to seeing you guys online and in person in Indy. Okay, sounds great. Bye, team. Bye.